I mean, you can get more Kentucky than you can get here, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, and it's 8.30 a.m. This is the Management and Internal Services Committee meeting, and I'd like to start with um, a word of prayer, if you'll bow your heads with me, please. Lord, thank you for the wonderful Master's Week we've had, and thank you for the beautiful weather today. Be with us as we um, go forward doing the work of the, the people this morning. Um, some of these um, items affect not only ourselves, but the folks around us, our community, our neighbors. Um, some of these issues are difficult to deal with, but please be with us and help us make our, our motions and our votes in fairness and in truth. In your name we pray, amen. Please join me for the pledge. <coughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the republic for which it stands, a nation, God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Three members present. We have a quorum. I'd like to move on down the agenda. May I have an approval of the minutes of the previous meeting? Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. So moved. Um, I don't have any presentations and nothing on the consent agenda. Let's move directly on into um, debate. Oh, approval of the agenda. Anything? Ready for your okay. approval, Madam Chair. Thank you, sir. Um, debate agenda. Mr. County Manager, what do we have this morning? First item of your consideration is an appointment to the Fort Gordon Regional Growth Management Plan Implementation Group. We did get a request from the Regional Commission to appoint a commissioner. Uh, to this group and also an alternate to be able to serve if that person couldn't serve. Uh, we have spoken with District 4 Commissioner Allison Couch uh, since the majority of the fort is in her district and uh, she has agreed to serve and offer alternate uh, Deputy County Manager Glenn Kennedy to serve on that uh, plan implementation group. Staff recommends approval. Thank you for stepping up, Commissioner Couch. Appreciate that. Move to consent. Move to consent. Oh, he's got So moved. Thank you. Next. Next time we have your considerations, resolution 2317. This is amending our medical plan uh, to include deputy coroners in the definition of employee and plan description. Uh, as you know, we, we made an amendment to the medical plan several years ago to include associate magistrates. Currently, the way it's written, if uh, somebody does not work a strict 30 hour week, uh, then they're not eligible for medical benefits. These are special employees. They're very difficult to get. Um, they, they're on an on-call basis, but they do have to commit a lot of time to Columbia County and a lot of time on call, whether they're called out or not. Uh, it was the same rationale we used for the associate magistrates. Um, so we feel like the probably up to three deputy coroners could benefit from, from being included in our medical plan. So what you have before you is resolution 2317, actually amending the, the medical plan to include deputy coroners in the definition of employee and staff recommends approval. Are there any other special groups besides the deputy magistrates and, and these? I, I don't think there are any more. Um, none, none have come to my attention, and, and I think we probably would have included the deputy coroners at the time we did the associate magistrates. Really didn't think about it, but we've recently had an employee that was a very good employee contemplate leaving the county specifically for benefits. She was spending so much time on these calls um, that she was spent, you know, dedicating a lot of time to the county but, but really needed benefits, which is what sparked this discussion. Um, it is allowed for us to do this if the commission approves the resolution. I think this includes all the offshoots. We're still not going to provide it for true part-time employees. They're going to have to be in one of these special categories or an elected official. And yeah, that was my question. Didn't open it up to another class. No, we, but this is very specific. So this changes our medical plan, but does the – Health insurance company is okay with it as well. Do we have to? Yeah, well, we're self-insured, so obviously our carrier um, would have to uh, allow this. But but we're if you make this resolution, you make this change, uh, our carrier pretty much accepts what we what we do. Okay. This is allowed within the law uh, to be able to make ex exceptions. Very good. Yep. Right, right now, I think we have two. I think he has three positions right now. So it would include all deputy corners. So in the future, if he had four. We would include that. There's not a number on it, um, but but currently he has three positions and I believe two employees. Is that right? Okay, sorry about that. Three and four, and then four positions. So if he hired another one, but this this will include it, whoever he hired going forward, if that were the case. Move to consent. Second. 
So moved. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, That's all for me. I bet. Thank you very much. Mr. Blanchard, how are you this morning? <clears throat> I'm doing fine, ma'am. How are you? Good. How much money are we going to spend today? Um, actually, nothing. <gasps> right. Move to consent. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you got. All right. Uh, I've only got this one item to uh, do a one-year extension of our existing agreement with uh, Presidio. Um, the Presidio is the company that we use to support um, our Cisco uh, equipment. That's the mainly the, the brains of our network, um, all the, the switches and things like that that it requires for us to be able to support the network. Um, we have some ongoing projects with them and we're nearing the end of our contract with them, so we really don't have any more extensions. So what we'd like to do is extend them for one more year to make sure that we can get all these projects concluded uh, under the, the same vendor without that awkward in-between state where we're either picking someone else or trying to get them to, um, well, they'd have to bid, because we, we'll be required to do an RFP. So we want to extend this for one more year um, in order to facilitate getting these projects completed. Um, there are two changes. Number one is the extension of the year uh, for their services. And then they did request that we have a, uh, uh, a rate increase for their amount per hour. That would only be on any new projects that we have, as and it won't affect the ones that we are currently uh, working with them on. Um, that was their request, um, obviously. Uh, because the original rates that they had given to us were from 2018 and obviously is now 2023. A lot more expensive. I'm normally not going to say this about a vendor, but I think that's a fair request on their part. And so. this is um, in the budget? Uh, there's not any projects, on the, no, no cost associated with this right now. It's the only thing that we would do going forward was we budget for any projects uh, that we need work with Presidio and uh, it would all the the rates and the cost of equipment everything like that would all be folded into that okay gentlemen Good Good. 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 Second. So moved. thank you mr. Blanchard um, don't have anything else on the debate agenda do we have any legal matters no legal matters um, staff reports let's see personnel savings uh, first item for your information is just personnel savings uh, so far through uh, March 31st. You'll see the total general fund savings are $911,000. Um, we did have our turnover rate uh, with January and February is typically a little more than normal. People usually make it through the end of the year. And then uh, so that, that number is a little bit higher, but we're continuing to monitor that and monitor those positions. Answer any questions you may have. Ms. Reese? Yes, the first item I have for you is the year-to-date budget report for the month ended March 31st. We should be performing around 75% and all funds and departments are operating within their budget. Good. Supply step date? Yes, the sales tax report is for funding received through the month of February. That was just over $2.5 and our annualized percentage increase right now is around 7.5%. Questions, gentlemen? No, oh, ma'am. All right, and the investment report. Yes, the investment report for year review. I will uh, note that we recently had an increase from Sonovas Bank. Uh, we have a couple of money, money markets with them. Uh, this is showing 3.75% because this was as of February. But this past month, they have increased that to 4%. Many of our banks are doing that. As the rates are going up, they're, they're actually calling us and adjusting the rates. Um, I've had conversations with several of our local bankers. Um, and Ms. Reese and I are monitoring this, but you'll see that those rates will continue to go up. Questions, comments? All right, thank you for the reports. Do we have any commissioner comment, public comment? Seeing none, I have no executive session items, so we're going to adjourn and return in a few minutes to switch over. Three minutes, thank you. <clears throat>